The final effect, which was probably my favorite edition and has only just come into Premiere, is much better slow motion. Let's take this shot, which is one I do slow motion on quite a bit. I'm gonna slow this down. So right click, go to speed, type in maybe, oh, let's go to 20% and watch it. Now the standard thing that Premiere does when you slow something down is it repeats frames. So as you can see there, looks a bit stuttery. So that's the standard thing. I'm gonna make a copy of it, hold down on Alt, drag, it makes a copy. And instead of doing stuttery slow motion, I'm gonna right click and go to time interpolation. You used to have something that said frame blending. There was only two options, frame blending on or off. Well, now you've got three options. Frame blending on, which is what it used to do. Frame blending off, which they call frame sampling, and this new one. Let's have a look at the frame blending. So, I've got my frame blending, and to be perfectly honest, it looks just as stuttery as the first one, but it has flagged it up for rendering. So what I shall do is render it. Because frame blending actually, a lot of the time you can't really see until the thing's rendered. And yeah, that's better. Still got a bit of jittery stuff over here. If you look at that, it's, it's okay, but it's probably better than this. Let's do it again. I'm gonna make another copy. And this time I'm going to go to time interpolation and choose this third one, optical flow. Again, it needs rendering, so you can't tell what it looks like at the moment. But let's see what good old optical flow does. Now, optical flow takes quite a bit of time to render. It's longer than the other ones. Actually, it's, it's motoring through it quite well here, but it is something that will take a bit more effort. Basically, this is something that used to be in After Effects, and at, in training sessions, I would tell people to do decent slow motion, make an After Effects comp, tick, 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 and then render it. Now you don't because it's in Premiere. You look at that slow motion and you can see things like that white van there, the person walking across the road, it's a lot smoother. Most of the time the optical flow does a better job than regular slow motion. The optical flow basically is creating stuff. It's guessing what should be there and computer programmers still aren't intelligent enough to really know what they're looking at. So it makes stuff up, sometimes it gets it wrong. Most of the time, I think if you're slowing things down, it just looks way, way better. And I'm so glad they put it into Premiere. You got two ways of getting to it. One is you right click and go to time interpolation. The other is when you go to speed, you actually choose the time interpolation here.